I want to be an environmentalist and a politician. I want to be a musician and a civil engineer. I want to study the brain. I want to be a scientist. I'm going to bring science to politics. I want to be a doctor someday. I want to be an engineer. We're Broadcom Masters. We're Broadcom Masters. We're Broadcom Masters. We're Broadcom Masters! The Broadcom Masters program is designed not only to bring kids to Washington and give them some exposure to the important aspects of science fair competition. In many ways for us, the science fair at the middle school level is really about an opportunity just to get the kids out there by getting as many kids as we can to stay with science and math through high school. The best thing about science fair, every kid has a different problem. And that problem means something to them that it doesn't mean to anybody else. To make something worthwhile, you have to care about it. And if it's closer to you, if you can feel what it's about, then it'll mean more. Since they can do hands-on learning, they actually learn more from actually doing their own science fair experiment. So I think it's an advantage to them and they can learn a lot more about science and hopefully spark an interest in maybe a field that they want to go to when they get older. What got me involved in the science fair is uh, the excitement and the competition and the new ideas. In these kind of events, and this is not the first time I've seen a lot, that some students just jump into it and you do wonderful stuff that you would never see in the regular classroom. An enthusiastic, motivated student can become involved in science competitions and it can become a pathway to greater education and greater productivity in that student's life. They're insatiably curious. They like to address things in depth and for a longer period of time than you typically get in a classroom. And so something like a science project gives them a chance to do something in depth and to really go after a topic. And sometimes with the middle school students, they'll come up to a problem with their results. They created a, an experiment based on a certain hypothesis and they expected the results to be in a certain way and when they don't pan out, sometimes initially, they think, oh, this is terrible. I'm going to fail. <laughs> this is not good. And what we really try to emphasize as, as judges is, no, this any results are good results. With science fairs, I can impact a lot of kids in a day uh, just by giving my feedback, explaining how to do science, that kind of thing. For judges who get to see, who get to see this young scientific talent that might be able to change the world someday, Science Fair is helping all of us in some way. Nothing is as real world as competition. Like, the schools can offer some like problem-based learning, but most of it is like fake, and nothing is really as like deep of a level as like actually doing the Science Fair or a real competition. One of Broadcom's challenges to other businesses is to see what we see, is that we can make a real difference by not only bringing resources to our local schools, but bringing human capital into the classroom. People can sign up on programs like National Lab Network to simply connect with a local teacher who's got a science project or a kid in need, or they can get involved in the local boys and girls clubs or the YMCA, or become a big brother or a big sister. Any aspect of bringing your experience as a scientist or engineer to them in a very personal way is going to result in that kid having an aha moment. We believe that at Broadcom. I think it's very much in the interest of corporations that will need this sort of talent down the road to feed the pipeline, and that's what they're doing by sponsoring middle school students. They're providing an incentive for these students to go deeper in their science, and they're exposing them to the kind of careers that they can enjoy in industry. Science fair is really fun. I mean, it's not, it's not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. It really is quite enjoyable. We're not trying to just find the next Nobel laureate. We're trying to incentivize a population of young people who can find an expressive way to be involved with science and engineering at any level. The important thing about these competitions is it gives the students some insight in, into the life of a scientist. If I was a Broadcom master, it would seem to me like the first step in doing something bigger. We're Broadcom Masters! Woo